So my name is Tamara and I'm a principal software engineer working at Cadence. I'm also an occasional blogger and I'm very passionate about productivity. But two years ago, this was not the truth. Uh, actually, two years ago, I thought I was being productive. I had a system uh, in place for everything. Everything has its place, but it was not working. Let me share how I was doing the things I needed to do. So I had all my all the things that I need to do, all my tasks being logged on Microsoft to do, all the things that I want to to write, I was doing that on Boost Note, which is a note taking app. I was adding ideas to physical notebooks. Uh, I had several meeting notes and other relevant and more formal information on the week internal week for the company i had several documents that that represented reports and specifications and so much more so if we saw that as it was as, as i'm explaining here it might look like the system was in place and things would work but to be honest the over overhead of having to capture information on different places it was causing a huge mess because when I had something that I wanted to log as a part of a meeting note, uh, this would make me, uh, I would have to create this page on the week, which would be troublesome. So I ended up adding this information on my to-do list. And then the to-do list doesn't really represent the things that I need to do, just like uh, a huge catch-all for everything. So I, 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 I I took my notebook and started writing down the things that I really need to do. So everything had a place, but at the same time, the place for everything was nowhere. It was everywhere also. So all of that was really causing a, a mental overload uh, on, on me. And that was when I saw that I need just one solution to my many problems. And knowing that I went to search for the solution that would fit my requirements. My requirements were that I wanted something that would be digital so I can keep track of everything and find that easily, although I really love writing on paper. I needed something that would be stored locally because of company policies. I cannot expose things on other places unless it's a cloud service that is provided by the company. I wanted something that was marked down or text-based, so I'm not restricted to that solution or to that software that I would uh, I were to use. And of course, I want something that would allow me to customize and to be flexible to adapt to my needs. With all of that in mind, I went to full research mode here, uh, trying to understand what was the best solution that would meet my criteria, criteria uh, and provide me the base for my system. In my case, I ended up going with the Obsidian solution, not only because it ticked all my box, but it also has a huge community uh, to support the development of new flows inside Obsidian. For those who do not know, Obsidian is a note-taking app, but it's so much more than that because it has this huge community that builds plugins in, on top of Obsidian and provides you solutions for pretty much any type of problem that you have. Uh, I decided, and this was the software that I ended up using, and I, although I really recommend, there are two things that I want to highlight. The first thing is that Obsidian is a software that is free for personal use. In my case, I needed a commercial license, which I ended up buying, and it's worth every penny. Uh, the second thing is that all the things that I'm sharing here, although I have built that on top of Obsidian, you can do the same thing. You can achieve the same results on pretty much any of the other tools that I have mentioned before, or even other tools that I have not uh, shown here. So don't, uh, don't, don't, Think that you require Obsidian to replicate the idea or the core idea for this framework. That all being said, welcome to my Ultimate Productivity Framework. It all starts on the weekly note. The weekly note is a place where I capture everything that is happening during the week 
and I'm going to talk more about what the, the, this type of information are. And this is where I can look and really understand how my week is going, where it needs to go, what are the things that I need to, to do, among other things. Uh, in my... Uh, until I reached this point of this weekly note and to understand that for me, it was really uh, the, the best solution was to keep the planning and to keep uh, the, the window of planning to one week. I tried that, I, I tried some uh, daily planning, but it ended, I ended up noticing that it was not really fitting my day. My day was kind of crazy, it was changing, and I need to adapt more easily. So the, the, the weekly note, doing this planning and having the system set up on top of a week, it was what fit the, 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 the solution, what fit the, my requirement as well. So taking a look at the weekly note, what we have is that on the top we have some navigation uh, capabilities which in combination with the calendar really helped me be able to backtrack every decision that I made to understand how I was uh, a week ago, a month ago, or even a year ago. And this alongside this uh, weekly reflections really helped me understand what I'm doing great, what I can do better, and what happened that was a big highlight or that was a, light, a low light, uh, including also what have I learned during that week. This helped me not only to motivate myself and to report the, the work that I did, but also to uh, be able to understand how I'm progressing in my career. Following this section, that is the task management section, and this task management section is built on top of two blocks. The first block is a block that is dynamically built or dynamically shown. I have shown that the code that I used to build that, but although the code exists, all I, I have to see really are the actual, the, 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 the tasks themselves. And those are the tasks that were scheduled. So at some moment I have defined that that week or someday during that week, I needed to do that. So I have those tasks defined there. Uh, following that, the second block, those, those are new things that I'll be adding throughout the week. So whenever something new comes up that I need to do, I just quickly go over this weekly note and add my new tasks there. Following up on, on that, there is a section for meeting information, mainly meeting notes, because meetings are a big part of my day. So it made sense to be able to understand what were the meetings that I went through and to be able to quickly go uh, from my weekly view to the meeting notes to, to check any information or to, to go over some of the details uh, from that meeting. And again, this is something that is uh, dynamically built using some filters. Then finally, there is one big portion, uh, which are all the other tasks that are anywhere in my system that needs some action. Uh, the idea here is that whenever, I, whenever I'm looking at the weekly, uh, weekly note, I can understand what is requiring my attention more than the other things and address those issues, address those points uh, more easily. So that was the weekly note. And again, the idea here is that I have all the information to understand how my week is going in just one place very easily. And every week I have one different note. So you can see that we have the week W35. Uh, these are the, the, the week that we were. And for every in each week of the year, I have a new note for that. Going forward, I mentioned the meetings, and I also have some, some capabilities to help me uh, very easily create the notes for a meeting. So I have some shortcuts that I just need to give the name for the meeting, and this will fill up a note for me with a basic template, with attendees, with the action items from that meeting, with the notes themselves from the meeting, and I would just go filling in as necessary. 
Uh, and everything, I'm showing case the example here of searching uh, by an attendee, but everything on my system is searchable. So I can search the text uh, anywhere in my system. One special type of meeting that I have set a different template are 101 meetings. And the idea here is that I want to be able to capture not only the discussions of the, the history for the meetings, the sessions that I have, uh, but also the backlog. What are the things that I need to talk with my manager or I need to talk with someone that I work with? So whenever I go to a one-on-one -on -one meeting, I don't have to spend time preparing myself for the meeting because this is updated dynamically. So all of that is uh, organized into this folder structure that contains on the bottom the weekly notes. The, those are a note for each one of the week the meeting notes that I have mentioned before. It also has a place for the more R&D generic type of note that I either classify on a generic R&D or a specific long-term project. And there are also two very important notes in my system, one of those being the UTO or utility note, which is a catch-all for all useful information. Let that be a command on Linux that I don't quite remember how to run every time that I need to run. I captured that in there. And the other type of special note is the brain dump. And as the, nom the name suggests, is a place for me to just dump my ideas. And every so often, I return to that note and understand what are the ideas that I need to follow upon. Then all of that are the base and the organization for the system. But the flow itself goes as the following. Uh, every week on Monday, I start my week by reviewing the previous week and planning the current week. Then throughout the week, whenever a new information comes in that I see that is necessary, it will either fall into one of five categories. If it's something that I need to do, it will become a task on my weekly note. If it's something that arises from a meeting, it will go to the meeting notes. If it's a new idea, it goes into the brain, uh, brain dump note. If it's a generic capture of information, uh, something that I, I want to express, it goes into the R&D or the project notes. And finally, if it's something that I may need in the future, I add that to my utility note. Then on the end of the week, I take some time to report back my work, uh, let it be to my manager or whoever. And also I take some time to reflect on what were my accomplishments during that week. Ever since I have started applying that, and it has been almost two years now, I really sense, uh, sense that my sense of accountability uh, has improved. I can trust that I can do the work that, I, that needs to be done. I have a history of decisions that I don't need to keep track of the decisions that I need, to, that I made uh, for the future. Everything is, is stored, uh, the, the history is stored uh, for me. I have reduced the cognitive overload for trying to keep everything in my mind. And finally, that has improved my overall productivity. If, you, if I convince you somehow about adopting or maybe trying this or any other type of productivity framework, here are some tips for you. The first thing is to define your goals. And this will, of course, depending uh, from person to person. My main goal was that I want to capture everything in just a single place and to be able to reduce the mental overload for having everything. Uh, so you will need to think what are the problems that you are you want to solve. Then list your requirements. I shared mine, but of course this will be different on your case. Uh, experiment with different solutions. And here is one thing that when I started to make this transition from that method that I shared earlier to this one, uh, I started uh, experimenting with different software to understand how they would be how could i be uh, uh, how could i use them and it starts evolving from there so take your time to experiment and find uh, different possible solutions 
Uh, this all takes time, so you will need to invest your time, but do that in a careful way because it's very easy for us to waste too much time uh, and, no, and perfect the solution that will not adapt to our needs. Uh, take that step by step. And finally, no software, no framework, nothing will be enough if you don't change your mind of what you need to do. Finally, thank you all for being here today. Uh, sorry for the problem on the beginning. Uh, this presentation was based on a post that I did on my blog, so I invite you to check that out. I'll also be sharing soon, uh, until Friday, uh, an updated version on that with the uh, link that you can download an example, a demo, and try that for yourself. And with that, I'll, I'll answer some questions. I'm already seeing some questions here. Um, which app, app, which tool app are you using for these weekly notes and meeting notes? So everything that I shown here is within Obsidian itself. There is a bunch of community plugins that I use to help me on that, but it's all Obsidian. But as I mentioned earlier, this really you can implement that. Uh, we've seen any other solution. I'm certain it, it will just vary. Okay, so um, if you want to 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 connect with me, all my information on my LinkedIn and whatever other social network is available on my site as well. So feel free to connect with me and we can chat more. Uh, I really love talking about productivity, so it will be a pleasure.